Welcome to Dreams of Wings and welcome here to London City Airport, or more specifically version two of London City Airport by Orbex. They've uh, brought it more up to date, really, added the extra taxiway area that uh, that's now going out into the water. Uh, they've got the updated virtual, uh, well, it's not virtual, is it? It's the remote tower. Um, and just really, as I say, just brought it up to date, but it's looking pretty good. But we've chosen this location because this is a uh, a special aircraft. And it's a beautiful aircraft. Uh, this is an Aston Martin of the skies. It's the new Cowan Sim 222B. Beautiful, beautiful helicopter. A had a significant part in my childhood. I'm going to say it. Everyone else is going to be saying it. Airwolf. You know what I'm talking about. Unless you are too young to have experienced the pleasure that is Airwolf. And you're probably wondering what on earth is all this Airwolf I keep hearing. Um, I loved Airwolf as a kid. Uh, and I've had to wait 30 plus years to get to fly it. So uh, I actually deliberately didn't use the Airwolf livery. Uh, Cow and Sim have kindly included the Airwolf livery <laughs> in the release. And I te I'm telling you, I was close to using it. But in the end, I chose this one, which I think looks beautiful and fit for purpose. So me and the lads have given up the Helimed services. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, check out the previous videos in the channel. Uh, there's uh, lots of Helimed stuff going on. And uh, we're going to be doing the VIP thing. We're going to be taking the 222B up for a flight over London, uh, doing a bit of messing about. It, to be honest, it's a test flight. I've not flown this yet. Um, this is a chance for me to feel the aircraft out. It is very much a first impressions video, hence the title. And uh, I'm taking you along so you can... You can have a laugh at uh, my attempts to fly it. I am a helicopter novice, uh, but I've fallen in love with helicopters in this simulator. The The scenery, the world in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it was just made for helicopters. It's perfect. And uh, what I lack in skill, I make up for in enthusiasm and a love of getting to grips with these things. We've even got a special helicopter section on the Dreams and Wings Discord now. You got a Discord? Yes, we got a Discord. I'll put a link down below. Group flights, screenshots, talking aeroplanes, talking helicopters, it's all there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. You know, I know, what we really wanna do is get flying. So let's go. Okay, here we go. We've got our lovely analog cockpit. Really nice to see. Uh, a lot of system uh, depth here. We've got all our radio now. We've got a couple of GPS. Uh, lovely jubbly. We're not going to be using any of that today. We're just uh, today's just really about getting used to the handling of the helicopter and uh, seeing how it flies. Uh, right, we both know what we want. Let's get this thing uh, up in the air quickly. So I'm not going to do a full checklist. I'll just do the main bit so that we can get flying because uh, the important thing is to, well, to get flying. You don't want to watch me sit on the ground for 10 minutes doing lots of checks. Okay, so uh, let's just check rotor brake is off because that's pretty damn important. Uh, let's have the uh, battery on. Okay, and let's just reset the master caution. Uh, instruments, sorry, controls are working fine. All our instruments are zeroed where we want them. We don't want anything floating around somewhere that indicates that perhaps it uh, isn't working. Uh, right, let's now do the throttles, get the throttles set up. So we now need to do these. And do the same here. And there we are nicely. Got all the fuel cut off. Don't want to be introducing that too early. That would be rather silly, wouldn't it? Uh, right, uh, anything else that we need to do? Just check, double check the gears down it is. We've got three greens, so that's absolutely fine. Nothing else uh, giving us any kind of uh, reasons for anxiety. So let's have fuel, prime, fuel, prime, seeing as we're about to start whirling bits of metal around, let's have all those on. 
quick look back at the checklist just to make sure I haven't uh, missed anything. Otherwise, everything else that should be off is off. Okay. Uh, oh, hydraulic switches. Yeah, they're on. Okay, 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 okay. Rotor brake. Uh, just double check that that is off again. Yes, it is. Uh, let's have the seat belts and everything on in the back for the VIPs. You are right in the back, VIPs? You doing all right? Yep. No, they're not talking to each other. Obviously, something has gone uh, gone terribly wrong there. Uh, right, no one is around. No, good. So let's do the start. So I want to keep quiet so that I don't uh, destroy your enjoyment of the um, startup sounds. Uh, so just very quickly what I'm going to do is when the uh, NG gauge is here get to that marker there which is 11% uh, uh, then uh, I'll introduce the fuel and uh, and everything will be tickety-boo okay so Lovely sounds. Okay, back to the instruments. Okay, that's good. So the starter on uh, engine one has gone out. Let's close the cover. So we will now do the same for engine two. sounds aren't they? 
right there. Okay. Beautiful sounds, aren't they? Really, really nice. I love the sounds in this helicopter. Okay, so uh, we need to be, our RPM needs to be uh, at um, 100 for takeoff. I'm just going to double check that. <coughs> yeah, so we're going to just increase our RPM here a little bit. And need to remember when we, t after we've taken off and we're flying, need to knock that back down to 96 again. Okay, everything good, everything fine. I'm going to take the parking brake off now, not that we're going to be doing a rolling taxi or anything. But, uh, right, let's do this. Introduce the collective ever so gently. Let's come over here away from the building a little bit. Not brave enough to put the gear up just yet. too much. Quick to pick up speed there. Just get used to some of the characteristics. See how it feels at low speed. Uh, the Naval College. See, the 
Naval College, not so sure what on earth is that? So we've got a drone there, peoples. There it is, the old uh, Royal Naval College with the Cutty Sark parked outside and that's not that dirty great big cruise ship that definitely shouldn't be there. Give them a little air wolf moment. There's the Cutty Sark.
what did you say? Docile than the uh, 
500E. That's for sure. flight. 